The Polaroid One Step is the latest set to come from the LEGO Ideas line. Unsurprisingly, it's a pretty accurate recreation of the source material and also remains largely faithful to Minibrick's original fan submission, and even in some ways improves upon his design. While I'll be sure to highlight the delightful function this set incorporates, today we'll be putting most of our focus on the bizarre new elements that this set introduces. So hey, let's take a closer look. This set was sent to me early by the LEGO group to review, but you'll be able to pick yours up on January 1st. The set actually has a few noteworthy printed elements. Interestingly, there's a pretty balanced mix of stickers and prints. But hey, I'll take that over all stickers any day. There's only four stickers altogether, with the rest of the details being printed. The 1000 decal is actually an extra piece. It's the European name of the camera, and you can swap it out with the one step. The Polaroid film box houses the most interesting of the new elements, though. Lego film for the camera. The original idea's submission proposed the creation of 8x10 tiles, but Lego instead came up with these. And I can safely say that these are indeed plastic elements and not cardstock. The best part of this not being a tile is that it's enabled LEGO to print on both sides of the piece. The instructions do a nice job of explaining the three images provided. The first features Edwin Land, the man responsible for creating the original One Step SX-70. The instruction booklet provides all sorts of information about the inventor and the company he helped create. You'll have to do your reading to find the meaning behind the second picture, which is my favorite of the bunch. It's the most natural and feels like an actual Polaroid captured moment. Fan designer Mark explains, I love that my sister and the La Rochelle Harbor are featured in one of the photographs of this set. The last picture is of the iconic Lego house. A blurb from graphic designer Matthew Parsons says, inspired by the theme of memories, we created images that connect the Polaroid legacy with Mark's family memories and our Lego history. It's the least interesting of the pictures, honestly, and I wish it featured a minifigurization of the designers in front of the Lego house, too. It lacks the personality of the other two images. But what can these new pieces do? Well, of course, they work with the set's picture taking function. You load the film in, press the button, and wow, out pops a picture. Seriously though, this is super cool and the rubber band loaded pop is incredibly satisfying. Just listen to it. It's quite a complicated mechanism for what it does, but it sure works well every time. The piece itself, like the originally proposed tiles, is indeed 8x10 studs. The thickness, as far as I can tell at least, comes to about a fourth the height of a plate. Pretty interesting dimensions to say the least. The piece that it's most similar to, perhaps, are the window inserts that LEGO uses. The thickness is roughly the same, and this means that the new 8x10 pictures fit well into rail plates too. The technique of using window inserts has shown up in Ninjago City modulars, and it was also used to great effect to create a sliding door for the Ultimate Collector series Hogwarts Express. So theoretically, you could use these photos to make an even bigger, more epic sliding door. Something like this, perhaps. It's an effect that would otherwise be impossible to achieve with standard bricks, at least if you wanted a door this thin. My favorite technique, besides making a house of course, is using these pictures as, well, pictures. Sliding these behind a frame makes for a pretty impressive addition to a custom LEGO art gallery. The unique textures on these pieces too also just looks nicer than a regular stickered element. But what do you make of these new pieces and what would you build with them? I'd love to hear your ideas and honestly, the crazier the better. But that's all I've got for this one. Have yourself a great life and a very Merry Christmas.